This is a GR0. But wait. What if I told you this is also a GR0? Let's get into all the history of how we got to a GR0 from an older GR0. Let's get into everything that is the newest Ruck released from Go Ruck. Still available, 1000D, 16 liters. All right, so yeah, so these are both GR zeros. And to get here, we have to talk a little bit about GORUCK history. And this is the original GR zero. This is what is now a GR one, 21 liter. Originally the GR ones were just 26 liter and then they dialed it down to a 21 liter size and called it a GR zero. So this is my original RUCK. Looks just like the modern day GR one, 21 liters, but it's actually a GR zero made in the USA, 1000 D. Uh, you know, it's the original one, man. I even did some drain holes in here, custom installed, one fell out. Uh, you know, back in the day before we had Ruckers, we had to go old school GR1s, well, GR0s. And now we have a GR0, which is exactly like the Echo. So we had all these GR1s and zeros, and then they stepped it down to a smaller 16 liter size and this is the echo originally marketed to women if you look at the original photos on the website it was you know lots of emily and other women carrying this ruck around um, putting wine bottles in and that's thing. Like, to me it's kind of a mistake because this thing is perfect for a lot of things beyond just carrying your stuff for smaller framed or for women now as we compare this to the gr1 the radio and the bullet you'll see some of the differences and how they compare so let's get to some comparisons but before we get to the comparisons this is the gr0 just like the echo 16 liter size i'll put some dimensions over here so you can see just how this one stacks out but you can see it's a little bit shorter uh, and wider than a bullet ruck as we compare. It's got the bomb proof laptop compartment. It doesn't have a frame sheet. So it's a lot like the radio in that regard where it has the bomb proof laptop compartment, but it doesn't have a frame sheet. The bullet ruck with the laptop compartment has a frame sheet. This one doesn't. Same handle, two rows of webbing on the front, nothing on the side. So it's a lot like the bullet in that regard. Inside we have the same configuration and layout as a GR1. So you have two pockets, the one standard here it is GR0 and a mesh on the bottom. And then in the back part of it, you've got webbing, which to me is honestly the best part about this. You've got the same webbing layout, two rows here and a stretch pocket like you do in a GR1. So you know, this is what I wish they would do in the new bullets is put webbing in here because I oftentimes will put, not this one because this is a heritage and it doesn't have the molly webbing on the back, but you would put one elevated, put a field pocket, a regular one in, in the side, lead, lashed into the top because it's where I put my camera and some other high value items so they don't slide to the bottom and get damaged. So that's just me, but I love the fact that they put this in there because it allows you to customize, put stuff inside, mount it high and protect it. Other than that, that's it. It's basically a shrunk down GR1, more dimensioned like the GR1 versus the narrower bullets, 10 liters originally, and then now more commonly found in the 15 liter size. Again, this one's 1000D all over. So if 1000D material, Cordura is not for you, then don't get this one. It's 1000D everywhere. Some other finer details about the GR0. The shoulder straps are standard Go Rock. They are somewhere in between the bullet and the GR1. They're just as sufficiently padded and beefy and comfortable as those other bags. Um, so I'd say they kind of fit in, they're basically proportional to the size bag. There's no other material, no 210 in there, so it's a thousand D everywhere. This is old school build for Go Ruck, if you ask me, a thousand D everywhere, which I do love, it's just indestructible. That's the GR0. Let's compare it to some other, other Go Ruck bags that are in the same class. The most obvious example is this bullet laptop. And it's 16 liters, so they exactly the same size. Uh, three rows of webbing on this one, no side webbing in either bag. This one's a 500D and it's got the 210 
additions. I did a video on this one specifically, so you want to learn more about this one. Here's a video about it. But in comparison, they both have a bomb-proof laptop compartment. This one does have a frame sheet in the back. And it's in the back, so your laptop would bit fit on the inside of that and just be further protected than what you would find in this bag. The shoulder straps are, you know, near identical, maybe slightly thicker on the GR0. No secret pockets like you'd see in some of the special editions. Handles near identical. Inside features, you'll see same, the same interior pocket line. So really, the biggest difference on these is, well, no rain flap on the bullets. You do get a rain flap like the GR1 style on this GR0. And really, then you, it really comes down to dimensions. So right here, boom, you can see some dimensional differences between these two bags. They're both the same thickness, but it's a little shorter and wider. So just different dimensions. This one's advertised for a 13 inch laptop. So most of your average size laptops and iPads are gonna fit in this one just fine. Nothing really super big though, but it's not really designed for that either. So there you go, these are side by side. This is a bullet in the GR0 you know really really awesome and capable but and again same volume dimensions in both so you know packing wise let's just do side by side and compare the internal packability of these two bags now in this one i've got a triple lot design sleeve this one's for a standard size ipad and otherwise this is how they kind of pack out again wider dimensions in this geo zero the echo is going to fit things a little differently, but still fit about the same size. So, you know, it's really going to come down to exactly what you pack in terms of how it's going to fit. Volume-wise, in my experience, both of these are near identical. Let's move on to some others. So how does the GR0 compare to the original GR1 and the original GR0? Well, here we go. Here's some dimensions for you just to compare them side by side. You can see slightly deeper, a little bit taller, wider, and you know, five liters somehow. A bigger difference, but it doesn't feel all that bigger. It does, because of its depth, hold a lot more, I would say, in the way it packs up. Shoulder straps, near identical. You know, I really couldn't tell a difference between these two. And again, this is the original, it's a thousand D everywhere. Uh, you know, you got hydration bladder ports, all that stuff that you get on both these bags. So super cool. And so what are the differences? No side webbing on the GR0, GR1. Original GR0 had this side webbing just like the original, or just like the GR1. So today, three rows down here, only two. Internally though, no different in the pocket configuration except that there's two rows of webbing on the GR0 and three on the GR1. One thing to point out too, is that there's no D-ring in the GR0. There's no D-ring in there for your hydration bladder. However, you've got the webbing that you can hang it with any sort of clip. So it doesn't have it, but you can easily use it. And there's an exit port with the Velcro attachment, just like on all the GR1s and the Ruckers. That's the general comparison between the GR0 and the GR1. Now let's compare it to the Radio Ruck, which is one of my favorite bags. They just sold out of the black one. This one's in Ranger Green. It's just one of my favorite bags just because I'll just think the dimensions work out much better for me. This one's in gym mode, but it's just a wider base of a bag. So here's dimensions, boom, of these two bags. And you can see that this one has got some similarities. It's got the two rows of webbing like the Echo. This one has side webbing though, so this is where this one excels, the radio in my opinion. It also doesn't have a frame sheet, so it's like the GR0. There's another similarity there. So this one's bigger, you know, and the internal webbing is just like a GR1. And this one again is 21 liters compared to 16 liters in the GR0. So that's how they compare side by side. This one's also in 1000D. That's the Radio Ruck, one of my favorite ones of all time. So that's it, real quick and dirty. This one is still available on the website as at the time of my filming this video. It's super cool. It's just a nice little, I would say, if the dimensions of the bullet don't really speak to you, then go check out this Echo because it's the perfect size for everyday carry. It's got a lot of great features that I love about the GR1 and the smaller size. And some features I wish they would put in the bullet, namely 
the webbing on the back and we've already got this bomb proof laptop compartment so this one's a nice little small bag to take on the go maybe pack it down because that's what i liked about the radio it's about the frame sheet it's just a little bit more packable some of those bullet classics because they don't have that frame sheet are way more packable if you were going to put it in another bag or luggage to take on a trip once you get to your destination rip it out and go on the and have this so you know we're going to take this on a trip see how it packs out for me i just like this smaller form factor and again it's not just for women i think it's a perfect size for kicking around town with just the essentials that's it that's what i think while we're here let's give you an update on the m22 so the m22 and you noticed before that one of my biggest headaches with the m22 was these g hooks that were on the front so i ordered from a, i'll put the link in the description from alpin hound uh some <laughs> V-buckles, Fidlock, Fidlock V-buckles. Those suckers are just awesome. And it wasn't terribly hard to install. You really wrestle with this top part the most, but if you get the split bar V-buckles, you can definitely, you know, after, you know, some wrestling, you can get those in there. And then I had to did, I did cut the tacking on the bottom of the straps, just haven't got them sewn, but not really a big deal. Love this M22 for its style, and there it is. At the time of me filming this, these are available right now from Huckberry. So I'll put a link in the description to the M22 on Huckberry. They had all three colors when I filmed this. So I love this bag, it's super cool. It's nice to see a company like GoRuck do something a little differently and a link above to my original review of the M22. But this one is just a little update on the Fidlocks, which I think dramatically improved the usability of this bag for me, my humble opinion. All right, so there you go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You're not gonna miss what's happening next. I got a lot more stuff. Some stuff that's really cool from GoRuck coming soon and some other mystery range stuff that I know is on the horizon. So we're gonna take a look at that stuff and we're gonna get outside as the weather improves. So hopefully the weather is good where you are so you can get outside. Everything's better outside. Let's go outside and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Inside features, like